Well, cadets, now that you've seen how pitiful the Inner Sphere education is, let's go over our history. Founded in 2253, the Torian Concordat is the combined effort of freedom-loving individuals to develop an egalitarian state far from the imperialism of the Terran Alliance. Our founders were cast out by the conflicts which formed the Great Houses, losing loved ones and livelihoods to imperialist hands during the Outer Reaches Rebellion. Fortunately, the colonists, known as the Calderon Expedition, settled the rich and fertile Hades Cluster at the edge of known space. Within a century, the people of the Torian worlds expanded beyond the nebula, swelling to billions of people scattered among several worlds. The Concordat began as a loose association of these independent worlds, each pledging itself to the mutual defense of the others. In 2368, Great House squabbles spilled into Concordat space. Our navy, though ill-equipped to take on such power, fought admirably, destroying two warships and capturing a third. Afterwards, the Federated Sons forced us into a series of costly battles, seeing us merely as pirates. The Capellan Confederacy saw us as easy prey and attempted to covet our home. Brutal battles ensued, with massacres to our civilians and torture of Torian prisoners being commonplace. Rather than lose heart, we Torians pitched back the Capellan scum with even greater resistance. In 2571, when the Great Houses unified to create Star League, our worst fears came true. We saw through the guises of both the League and their deceitful Ares conventions, seeing them as the totalitarian ruses they really were. By 2573, Davian Avarice was at an all-time high. Seeking to covet our technology and armed with the newly developed battle mech, the Tyrants took a mistaken ship jump as a declaration of war. This sparked the long and brutal Torian campaign of the Reunification War. Richard Cameron, in his despotic attempt to control the periphery, tried to bring us to heel. However, Protector Mitchell Calderon foresaw this great disaster. He prepared his nation to resist the Star League so well that it took the bulk of the League's troops nearly 20 years to force a surrender. We did everything we could to protect our home. From bombing jump ships, to nuclear arms, to terror tactics, nothing was off limit to defend our freedom. The Inner Sphere call us savages, but at least we're still alive to be called anything. Morals are one thing, survival is everything. Star League fell, in some part due to our brilliant resistance. The houses place much of the blame on us, but it was doomed to fail from the start. Now, with the houses picking each other apart, our periphery neighbors seek what wealth and tech we've managed to save. Ambitious leaders of the Inner Sphere also seek to covet our planets. Let them try. Keep your hand on your gun Don't you trust anyone 